hello everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching this video so uh, mm, if you're using previous max 2012 for some time you might have figured that uh, there is no more reactor in 3d max now even though reactor wasn't a like a really mm, great simulation tool but it really did have some uh, great features like a rope simulation and uh, you know drop simulation all sort of stuff so since uh, those features are gone uh, if you need something like rope simulation you might have to end up with cloth sim or you know some other uh, some other simulation system so i was doing some tests with the flex modifier so this is what i sort of achieve with it now even though it uh, it's not great looking but uh, it sort of gives you uh, you know some result it's better to have something than nothing uh, so I thought uh, I would show you how I did it so first of all I will try to take you through the scene so this um, three boxes are just there for like reference so it's a cylinder and uh, and this is just a spline so if I take off the flex and take off like uh, render in viewport and render time you'll see it's uh, about year high with decent amount of uh, vertices now um, uh, for my rob I think this number of vertices work pretty well uh, maybe if you have a different scene scale you might need uh, you know a lot more vertices or a lot less so anyway uh, the other things that are in the scene is forces so this is uh, this is a wind force uh, now the values of this uh, you know force mod will differ from your scene scale so for my scene uh, this value sort of gives me the best result uh, this is a drag field and this is a gravity field and uh, there are three or four deflectors in the scene which are here and these three now I'll come back to them later so let's try with the flex modifier so the first thing I'll do I'll go to vertex mode I'll select all the vertexes except the first one and add a flex modifier to it so obviously you'll need to change some parameters so uh, we, we don't need these two we send it to range to the four steps for the time being five should be enough for um, oh before we go anywhere we also need to go to weight and strings we will select all the vertices and we'll go to uh, enable advanced string options and we'll select uh, hold edge length string okay we'll add a string now uh, right out of the box I mean these values will give you a really really weird result so you will need to tweak this a lot so for my one uh, these values sort of works best so um, stretch strength to one stretch to zero shape stretch to one and uh, sway to I'm sorry step stretch to zero and sway to one I'll also enable hold length and I'll set it at 100%. And before we go anywhere, we'll add our uh, we'll add our forces. So we need drag gravity and boom. So once it is done, just go ahead and rewind and click play. Yeah. So hopefully you'll see something. Now I'll also go to editable spline and make it renderable in viewport and render time make sure you don't deselect your vertices see it's still selected so anyway let's go back to flex to get out of uh, our edge faces maybe now we can see it better just ignore the box for a while okay so in order to make the rope collide with other objects you need to set up deflectors and uh, if you are using any geometry you need a special sort of deflector it's called uh, U deflector so since uh, I mean uh, yeah, you know 
if you see the scene you can pretty much you know guess that is the rope should collide with uh, this pillar this uh, base and maybe with this one even though this one is not you know included in this scene so for this pillar I'm using this steel deflector and what you can do is just draw uh, create a deflector and just go ahead and pick object and uh, select this object as your deflector so that's basically it so once again uh, I'll go back to work add and add my deflectors okay now if I go back rewind and play see you're getting some sort of collisions now watch carefully around here see see how these things are differing these things can be fixed with uh, you know uh, increasing the sample so I'll go ahead and set it to 20 and let's see how it works um, better I think it's better than before so anyway uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave uh, I'll leave it up to you to do more research and testing and tweaking so hopefully this video will help you out and um, if you have any comments or suggestions just leave it down below so once again thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe